Due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the Beehive. It's your weekly boys. Yay! Yay! supposed to push the button right there, but that's our, that's that's our right. producer. We used to do that a long He's time ago. He's over there pouring drinks. We got with... with <laughs> hey, Christ, we got dude. to. With us, we got Alicia from Hard Talks. With a blonde, blonde and a hippie. I try to do that. I try to do the same thing you did. Uh, Alicia know. and... Uh, uh, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> well, you fucked up by saying Alicia because I was going to take hold and say, now what? who are you again? No, but it's the other girl that they don't know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Met when her. is she coming back? Um, I think in the, the first week of November. Yeah. Are you going to put her to a trial? Be like, hey, look how much I've done. And you're just like <laughs> basically taking it easy. Um, no, so, uh, you know, motherhood is hard. Yeah. She, we're all getting used to it. Yeah. Is that her first child? It is, yeah. Okay. Her being gone, me getting used to her being gone. Yeah. But, um, no, I mean, she's going to, I made a list for her. Okay. I was like, can you please complete these few things before you come back? So, no, she'll be back and she'll be in full force and I'm really stoked to have her. I'll shave your mustache. What I the know, fuck? Like, I know. By I, the time she's back, it's like 50 push By the time she's back, the kids are over there. Like, <laughs> Jesus, it's been a while since you've been here. <laughs> no, a uh, big thing for her, I was like, you need to find a couple passages from your erotica novels. Oh, yeah. Because she reads her smut books to our yeah. patrons on Patreon. And I was like, Girl, I'm not going to do that homework for you, even though I might enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. But that's your job. So, yeah, yeah. we'll see <laughs> what what raunchy shit she has to come up with. So we did your podcast six months ago. Yeah. And, uh, About that. <laughs> we were kind of like, what the fuck happened? We did. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. We got bumped. Yeah. You got bummed? Yeah. We got bummed. Why? Because we did it before Mariah. <gasps> but, you know, as much as I love Mariah from salty sex cast you yeah. guys were like the big bang that i wanted to <laughs> release for my 40th episode you know big, hey, big every bang, 10 episodes i feel like you should celebrate because it's like <laughs> i remember just trying to get to the 10th episode and i was like dude i'm never gonna get there like i'm gonna be that statistic oh, yeah. that just quits yeah. and now i'm hitting those benchmarks so your 40 41st episode dropped today oh yeah with guess uh, what episode you are oh look we only have 100 more 141 right. <laughs> hey well that's why you guys what are doing so great <laughs> it is a coincidence it's meant to be um so what's your podcast about anyway we talk all things controversial difficult taboo wildly inappropriate like you know, what? give me a subject you guys like life literally um, get into. a big thing uh i think the most you know, reaction we've got from our listeners was definitely from our adoption episodes. I have an older son who's eight. He was placed for adoption. Mm -hmm. And so that was when I started this, I, I really had that in mind. I, I wanted to touch on that. I wanted to talk about how taboo adoption mm -hmm. still is. And a lot of people hear that and they're like, it's not taboo anymore. And I say, nay, nay. It, yeah. it is, especially when you're going through it, especially in a very religious state. Um, my family is both Mormon and Catholic. Mm. So the way both sides took that news was a yeah. little different. Um, but it was a really trying period for me in my life. One of the, the hardest thing I've, I've done. And, um, I kind of wanted to create a safe space and a platform for people to be able to come on and just be human, talk yeah. about shit that they can't talk about at work <laughs> or even to their spouse. You know, these are my insecurities. This is what makes me uncomfortable. Let's talk about it and normalize it and put it out there. So it's not so uncomfortable anymore. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what got the ball rolling. Um, we do talk a lot about sex. We are crass. We are very inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call us? You called us the female versions of the other side. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, um, we, you, by the way, it used to be the salties, but they went down to one. So sorry, it doesn't work that way. You anymore. just been, you just been so brought you, into pod Yeah. So you, you, hey, you, I've you been, been using that hashtag like crazy. Nice. I that makes been. both of us. Thanks, guys. I, Everybody out there. I have to say this too. So I, I'm doing this big giveaway. We're giving away an EDC ticket. It's like two weeks away. But I was doing this live. And for some reason, my audio cut out halfway through. Mm -hmm. And I saw that you guys, or one of you were viewing. And that was me. I was talking. You're going through the, what was yeah. in the box? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I left it up because I mean, you still get the visuals. <laughs> He's like, you got me. <laughs> no, I was like, thanks for being what there. What <laughs> comes in the box. But I was bummed because I was like, I just wasted like 
an hour of my life recording this, you know? But um, it was just kind of funny because in the end of it, I was talking about the episode that dropped today. And I had uh, Rob Eastman on from Stand and Fight podcast. Yeah, we've had him. Awesome guy. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought so. Awesome guy. Um, but in the end, you know, I see that the other side of the beehive is watching and I get all nervous. Why? This is why I'm fit. Why I don't film, guys? Because I clam up and I get camera shy. I just get too frazzled. I like can't even look over there right now. Oh, we just saw each other's pubes on last episode. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like talking about the episode, and I was like, I had Rob Eastman on from Stand and Fight. And then I was like, fuck. I was like. Justin's probably watching this oh, and he's yeah, probably yeah, like, yeah. you asshole, you must forget everybody's name. <laughs> well, I would have felt better had I gotten that far in the video, but I was like, well, you're nothing. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, wow, look at this. What one. is that? <laughs> so, so then I had to post another post, you know what I mean? But I just, my brain, man, it, it just can't stay I just did your song point. and you missed it. God damn it, dude. I know. I'm remixing it. Are you? I have a couple of your laughs in there. Second podcast. That's the second it. podcast. Once, Got some laughs in it. Once Sarah Name comes the first back. one. Name some what? what? The first podcast that has our laughs in it. Yeah. It's not this podcast. You've done it. You've done it. Dre's? Mm, no. I don't, I've never Who? heard of that 27th name. hour? Who? Who? Yeah, Who? yeah. 27th hour. Yeah. He's yeah. awesome. Um, hey, speaking of that, before we move on, are you drinking? Yeah. You said I was going to have a glass wine. right there. And oh, I so do. So this is the wine that I wanted you to try. Oh, my god! It's been here forever. But it, wait, 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 wait. I got my bags packed. We're taking a trip to Napa. Let's go. Wait, 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 I don't know what that Don't we have a better one? I mean, I Napa know. Valley, California, no, because, because, wine tasting? No, because I told her I don't I don't like this one. She says she likes all of the reds. I do. But um, I bought the one that I like. Let's see. Try that. Yeah. Try it. If you don't like it. Wine's a oh, taster. Good good Wine's man. a taster. He's if you like, don't like it, I'll give you the good one. <laughs> he's like, what is this? Like, <laughs> I'm just going to take a shot. He's like, Jesus God. Christ. Ooh. Ooh, I, want, I wanted to go and spit it yeah, in my don't. face. You know what I mean? You, oh, be honest, because I don't like it. No, it is good. The t the smell is strong. Yeah. It, it, it's I, super I strong. I carried it. Like, I want, Did you? Did yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, it, it does have a kind <laughs> of you see me on my a beard. nutty, a nutty, <laughs> nut, yeah. You want to try the other one? You like the other one. No, I didn't. Fine. You know, do, I don't want. I feel wine. like since wine is such an acquired taste, you need to drink it so I can give you this one. This one's the oh, bomb. Okay. okay. <laughs> and also, you're drinking half of this, so here you go. You well, don't care that it's going on top. My mama's got to drive at some point. No, it's funny because I was so stressed out all day today. Why? Oh, I had. I was going. By the way, we all came here today, and, and we all talk about our shitty days today. So, yes. yeah, so, go ahead. So, your so turn. we're, we're oh, yeah. my turn. So it's your cool. turn. Uh, it wasn't necessarily shitty, but you know when a day just drags. Jesus Christ, lush. Lush. Yeah, I, I want to be here for. A That's few Chris. Especially a Friday. Yeah. When Fridays drag. Yeah. God damn. So I have an interesting work schedule for my full time job. I work a nine four five schedule. So one week I'll work five days, but my Friday will be an eight hour shift mm -hmm. but then monday through thursday is always a nine hour shift but it's nice because then i get every other friday off those are our recording days is this a new one yeah what's this uh it's you gotta big tell me it's called big house okay the prohibition, prohibition red prohibition oh the al capone red. yeah this one smells better yeah i want to say doesn't, it doesn't smell on. as much as this like is, your nuts but i want to call you out <laughs> this is the one mm -hmm. oh. last week we drank this what did Justin say? It's actually not cheap. It's fifteen dollars. <laughs> oh, good. You what need is, to come the fuck down. Well, that's uh, oh, I was that's like, what is old cheap to you? When it first came out, <laughs> so apparently it's come down in price. <laughs> I got it when it was like there wasn't very many of them. Yeah, apparently. I like the glass, the bottle though. That's pretty cool. I yeah. honestly like the first one better. Really? Yeah. You can have the bottle if you want. They oh. can pull you over, whatever. I don't care. Oh. Just kidding. Yes, you do. You do. Don't put <laughs> that on me. I'm just kidding. Um, so. We had the chance to go and hang out with you, so we kind of know the podcast. I mean, it's, uh, I kind of know the podcast because it's you. Yeah. What does this uh, What does this Sarah girl bring to the table? Because we don't know her. An awesome laugh. And we're gonna laugh. bust her balls the entire time. Oh, I, I bust her balls. Yeah. Enough for all of us, but um, she's just funny. She's yeah. got this contagious laugh. You know, it's like, could anyone just 
instead of like just being a personality, can anyone just be a laugh? Because that'd be Sarah. I mean, okay. she's a personality too, but she's got the best freaking okay. laugh. Um, you can set that right there if you don't want to hold it. No, or there. She's, no, there. me and Sarah, it's kind of funny. Um, I was her boss before, oh, okay. and that's how we met. Um, we both worked at a super cuts, actually. Oh, nice. And wow, super cuts. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of funny when you're going through barbering school, like, they Cut that shit. out. We don't pay for super cuts. <laughs> we're not affiliated with this <laughs> podcast. So hey, let us just, know when it's bikini this cuts. This is not right? sponsored by <laughs> super is cuts. Around? Are they, is bikini cuts still around? I don't know. Not don't here know. in Utah. Hell I don't yeah. think so. You should know. Is bikini cuts still around? She's like, look, dumbass, I'm here to drink. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Why should I know? I, I don't is. know that person. Bikini cuts. Bikini cuts, Salt Lake City. Dude. Still near me. Huh. Uh, no, it's not around anymore. No. There's the Black Diamond Barbershop. Hey, hey, I know the owner, Chloe Diamond. Oh, she's done my dress one time. She, she stole your dress? She's, she's fucking she's, hot, yeah, man. She's hot. She stole God. your dress. She's done my dress. Oh. And, oh, I thought she, you said no. she stole your dress. No, she's cut. done my dress. I got. <laughs> I she was, what I deal with <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and it's funny. Hey. You don't know my name. <laughs> Hey, English second language. Hey, cheers, man. Hey, hey, that's an excuse. It sounds like English exactly. second language. But I no, know. I, I I know who you're talking about. She's also good friends with my tattoo artist. Really, Pat Delavar. Pat Delavar. Where's is, Where is he located? He's Salt Lake too. Okay. But um. Okay. Okay. But anyway, so Sarah. Yeah. She's she's the laughter. Sarah is the laughter. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of she's one of my very best friends, and so we literally can talk about. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, Great movie, by the way. Yeah, uh, it, shout out. I, I keep quoting movie titles without even realizing that's it. They, that's what they call us. The other day at work, I was like, "We have to, you know, the river runs through it," and they were like, "That's a great movie," and I was like, "What?" Uh, like, Brad Pitt. That's a fucking great movie. That's a movie. And I was like, yeah. "What's the title?" <laughs> you just said it. I was like, "Oh." That was like uh, what put Brad Pitt on the map. Is like as far as being a great actor, what and he was to in that a lot guy? of good stuff. Where is he? Oh, he's still killing it. Is he? Uh, what was Handsome the one that ever he, the, still? I mean, hey, how, um, long once upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah. I mean, my God, dude. What a I mean, fucking... I'm 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 well documented in this podcast. I will blow him. Uh, uh, I think That's we all would. Ooh, that one right there, the first one. Yeah, he's got it's a little a gray in dude. his in he his goatee. Hot. He's got that mane. God, he he really fucked up with Angelina, didn't he? No, I think he fucked up with Jen. My no, guy. Yeah. You're out of your, get the you're fuck crazy. out of here. No, no, what? You're crazy. Why? Really? You're out of your mind. I think Angelina's a little crazy. Oh, but you know what? Crazy. What I've learned is men like a little bit of crazy. Have you heard about the uh, crazy hot spectrum? That's, that's because every woman's crazy. Okay, <laughs> the only but way you get a hot one is you, they gotta be crazy. It, <laughs> I've I've seen the the crazy hot spectrum. Look how cute he was. Dude. Yeah, God yeah. Damn it, well, dude. They say they say redheads are crazy. Also, and the only women we know I have from a redheaded you know? daughter. Mm. I can count redheads are crazy, crazy. <laughs> I'm not a natural redhead, but they, they are a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you, crazy when you went, went when you went to the salon, you're like, I want to go crazy. I'm I need not, something the, oh, to match too blue, this blue, tone. Y'all. No, no, I'm talking like crazy, like stalk you late at night She's and like, text no. you a thousand times. She's like, I need to warn people. I need a warning sign, so I'm going to... Fiery like my a, soul, bitch. Like, what, the, the lady's like, what are we doing today? I have a podcast about anal sex. Say so, no more. Say no more. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, anyone, any guy in this day and age that says he's against butt stuff is a liar. Or I'm weird. Not, I'm totally... You I'm know, totally I'm just saying, it. It should, but, it's, but it, that but it does is one of the, the things end. that's not taboo anymore. You know, you remember when you used to talk about like... Well, nobody talked about sex at all, you know, yeah. 30 years ago. But I mean, even anal, like five years ago, like shh, that's hush hush, right? And now everyone's like, eat the booty like fucking groceries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember the first time I heard that, I was like, what? we eat a, It's like, that doesn't make sense. And then you experience it for often. the first time and you're like, maybe. <laughs> we eat a, yeah, <laughs> eating ass. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by eating, eating ass. ass. Rim jobs. Rim jobs for free. Hell yeah, DoorDash. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I love butt stuff. It's just I can't sit down afterwards. <laughs> you need to get one of those donut pillows. Oh, one yeah. One of those airplane like pillows. Too. It doesn't Hell even yeah. need to be a full donut, just like a neck That's one. That's true. That's true. You know. I see. I see what you're doing. How long have you guys been doing the pot? 
for 41 weeks straight. We started. Never missed a week? No, not wow. yet. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just like you guys. That was a big thing we talked about, you know, consistency. Yeah. And I even talked about that on your guys' episode with you. I was uh, not necessarily asking for advice, but just kind of venting. I was like, you know, I feel like before Sarah comes back, maybe I'll take a week off and do a reboot. And now I'm like, no, I'll just swing through oh, yeah, it. Yeah, we're calling and it then the girthier talks, remember? No, we called it flaccid talks. Flaccid talks. Yeah, yeah that's right. Flaccid talks. Because who doesn't like a flaccid? That's right. That's right. What do you do with that? Like a flask? What do you do with that? You, you like know, a flask? No, no, but I, 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 you know, it was a joke. But then I visualized it and was like, what, what can you even do? Dude, with have a you flaccid? ever seen those porns when like they, they try to put it in and, and this thing is like, <laughs> so they have to grab it because usually you grab they it from the bottom it? of the shaft and you go like it's, <laughs> it's ready to go. Yeah, but these guys are like from the head. They're like, no, just 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 get in there. And I like, think I think I, I, what comes to mind when I see that going on is like. Well, this poor guy's been overworked. Yeah. Like, he's, uh, he Whatever, needs a he's day off. He's making great money. He's been doing he it for a while. day off or this shoot, you know. what? We're looking at three minutes now. I bet he's been at it for three hours. He said, no, I bet, I bet they're up to, like, 30 takes. <laughs> so, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm a, talk about hours. I'm no. almost not out over here. And you're, you go in, yeah, you're, yeah. you're the one going in. You're not even hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost, almost done. finished. Get your shit together. Fuck. <laughs> 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 That's what I say is 30 seconds at best. And then you have to finish yourself off. Off with good old That's Jimmy. Right. Hey, how, how does that does does having uh, the podcast in your house with the kid and everything does that become a problem anytime or? <laughs> Sometimes I had this uh, Instagram influencer on. She's been on before, but she came on for a second time. Right, this big following. It's like it'd be a great idea to to go live, mm -hmm. you know, bring some more people in. Um. And my son was there, and, and that's why I usually have a babysitter because he's four and he really wants to be involved. And I've actually recorded a few bonus episodes with him because he's like, I want to have some hard talks. And I was like, all right, let's do it. You see the one of talks at the end of your episodes? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But then on the flip side, he gets angry when I don't talk to him or pay attention to oh, him yeah. because I podcast too yeah. much. And I was like, I know I need to really try to get my shit done in the daytime so I can really be present with you yeah. um but this live recording did not go well because elliot kept coming down and this girl that i have on is beautiful right and he's like all about the pretty girls mm. he oh always boy. flocks to the pretty girls it doesn't matter we're in a restaurant <laughs> and it's like i'm a single mom and so sometimes you know i really gotta yeah, put yeah. the hammer down and it's embarrassing in public nobody wants to be that parent that's like motherfucker i'm gonna kill you get the fuck over here <laughs> but everybody's been there yeah, you know yeah. what i mean and yeah. especially when they're running around aisles or if you're uh, in a grocery store a table and it's like i literally like it's okay everyone else, it's okay yeah, yeah i'm yeah. gonna fucking kill you later <laughs> wait like so He's running downstairs keeps talking which is fine like i don't mind if he interrupts every now and again but he's like, mommy, like he wanted to fight on it. He's like, I want to stay down here. I want to talk to her. And I was like, you can't talk to her right now. I literally only have an hour to record with this yeah. person. And she was like 45 minutes late. So, Ooh. you know, I'm like, we just got to get yeah. something in. You know what I mean? And finally, like I pull him upstairs and I swat him on the butt. No judgment, fam. <laughs> Everybody has to do it sometimes. Okay. Everybody watching lives like. Oh my God, you spanked upstairs? that child's bum. I sure as fuck did repeat, in that so instance. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> no, but what was terrible and the reason I deleted the live video is because I was embarrassed, right? My mom was watching and she calls me after I'm done recording and she's like, you might want to take that down because I could hear you pull Elliot upstairs and him be like, Oh, you hit me. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, my dude. God. Next I've thing even... you know, CPS outside. Oh my God. Man, yeah. are you done with your episode? Because you're going in. <laughs> no. I mean, he listened to after, but it's, it's hard like... talks. <laughs> we got hard talks outside, lady. Hard spanks. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I was just like, oh my gosh, like my child's my entire world. And it's like, I don't want that to be any misrepresentation ever it's just like in the moment and i it was a shitty interview anyway like yeah. we we chatted about that i'm not gonna name names but if you see this no offense girl like you, yeah. you like it's just like you were late and everything wrong that could go wrong in an episode 
did, and there's right. nothing I could really edit it so out or hard. salvage it. It. It, sets, it sets a tone. It right does. Out of the it's so and hard. we talked about having good content, right? Mm-hmm. Being a little picky with yeah. who we ask to have on, and that was my big learning and lesson. Do, do, just, just last. It's funny you mentioned that. Just last Thursday, when I was helping the OGs, and they were over here, uh, Brian, somebody you and I both know texted me and 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 they said do you still have the podcast and and, and i was like uh yeah we're on 141 asking, bitch. obviously <laughs> you, 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 don't you don't follow it yeah. you don't pay attention yeah. to it and i'm like yes as a matter of fact i do it was like 140 weeks or whatever we were and he, and and uh, they go oh, okay cool and they were like i have this guy that will be perfect for the podcast it's like and, I, and all I can and all, all I can ready. think of it because we've gone through there, it because yeah. we've gone through it so many times. When they say that, I'm already like, "Well, you're already asking me if I'm still doing the podcast." So obviously, you don't know what kind of content we try to put out. Right. And this person was like, "He's uh, he's a uh, this person is a musician and he has a, a a good message and it's all about like suicidal awareness and this and that." And I was like, "I'm like I hate and I said I'm like I hate to be this guy." But I said we have but we are so picky when it comes to bringing people in because right. we especially people we don't know right yeah. and we don't want to have that bad well, vibe not only for us it's but hard the for longer them. you do it and the more you grow because the more people reach out to you right yeah. and it's kind of like okay especially if you've never meet a, met them before it's like okay let me talk to you first and kind of yeah. gauge like how this is going to go because what if we don't mesh well yeah. what yeah. if i'm not able to maintain a conversation with you yeah. and um I had to respond to a few listeners because uh, she has such a big following, you know, over yeah. 20,000 followers on Instagram or she something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've had people ask, like, when is this going to be published? And at first I was like, well, maybe I'll like cut and splice the fuck out of this mm. and do like an quick 15 minute AMA on our Patreon because yeah. you know get rid, of my, pay. get rid of my ass beating I give to my kids <laughs> right, right. but uh, then I was just like you know what like I'm not gonna tarnish the Hard Talks name yeah. like it's something that I'm really putting a lot of effort into build and I want good content I want you know not to, she's a fantastic person not to say anything like that no disrespect at all it's just it just wasn't a good there, day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. kind of the thing with the beehive is once you're part of it, you kind of become like part of the fam. Well, right? like that's what's we so do, awesome. We do, we do events outside mm-hmm. of the podcast. And so the pod immunity. Yeah. Yeah. The one you well, didn't come to last weekend. Hey, or man. Or two weekends ago. Hey, man. <laughs> I was I was busy getting felt up by a. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I was a pretty inebriated a couple weekends ago. I did see the photos. I'm like, oh, they had fun. Uh-huh. Nice. Like pinching nipples okay. and shit. I'm like, and I'm saying this hey. because the photos out there. Hey, it was. It and I was like, oh, hey, okay. Out there. Out well, there. Obviously, they couldn't come. Do, do I need to pull it up? Or? No. Uh, I don't know. Oh. It? <laughs> nipples that could cut glass? Maybe. Hard nipples? Nate, later. Uh, hard talks with hard, hard talks and hard nipples. <laughs> Where'd you guys and go? Flaccid. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? It was just brewskis on 25th Street in Ah, Ogden. brewskis. Is that where we went? Ah, yeah. brewskis. Is that where we went? Um, For Hellbox? No, we went to the you probably, Utah. Either, it's U- either... Right? Yeah, we went to oh, Utah. Yeah. No, it's not brewskis. Dude. Utah is Brewski. newer. Is it hot Brewski's? in here? It is pretty hot so in here. Do, do you want me to go and fuck with that thing? No, it's fine. Are you sure? Okay. Are you hot? I'll just take off my jacket. Um, I'm good whoa. now. But. Brewskis, uh, like down 25th Street out in Ogden, the bar crawls down there. Are a blast, yeah. dude. There's some good ass bars down there. Didn't done you it shit on my years. my town last time you were Absolutely. in it? Absolutely. Who would live in Ogden for God's sake? But I'd um, go drink um, and get and throw only, up in there. The only, the only place I could afford, my Shout friend. Out to Ogden. That's fucking Ogden. The places I could afford as a single mom on my salary. It was Ogden, Magna, or Thule. Oh, I'm just fucking ate, Tooele. I just ate my words. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to talk about Ogden, Magna, and what? Uh, Tooele. Oh, Tule. No, so uh, I lived in Sacramento for a while. and Sack town? Good old sack town. Um, I moved around a lot as a kid, so I'm original. I was born in Arizona. I'm from Phoenix. And then the fam moved to Grand Junction, Colorado. What? Isn't that where you went? Uh, When? Isn't that where you went? 
Uh, I haven't been to Arizona in a long ass time. Where did you go? Just this Texas. Texas. Oh, my bad. What? You're way off there, bud. Isn't Texas, Arizona? God. <laughs> no. no. Texas. Yeah, like a whole stadium between them. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. A anyway. whole stadium. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's funny. Because, like, uh, again, he came out talking shit about, about yeah. Texas. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I did. Hey. I talk shit. Man, maybe, it's, maybe I have a problem here. <laughs> uh, I think Texas has the problem. <laughs> you know if what? we want to be real. <laughs> Ooh. Wow! No. But um, <laughs> do the song. Someone do the. Gotta get this party started, you know, right? Right. 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 Right.
taxes, mm. marketing, mm -hmm. pictures, you know, and I yeah. and uh, and also the thing that broke the camel's back was like I I got sent out of town to work, so mm -hmm. everything just I was I bought it and I was so excited for it, and then the people that say we're gonna help me, they were like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, well, I don't know. So <laughs> it just went down the drain. I was like, oh, whatever, dude. It's and, the business and, end of things that people don't really talk about. Yeah, and I mentioned like cosmetology school and how me and Sarah met whatever earlier but that's a big thing that they do not teach you even while you're going through like cosmetology school for example product well no product for sure but uh how to run a business i mean y most of your income is based off of commission or tips how to file for taxes uh you know you are basically considered like an independent contractor mm -hmm. or you're a self-employer if you will so and of course i went to paul mitchell Harvard of hair school. <laughs> um, but they're like, they shove that shit down your throat. They're like, you don't want to work for a chain. That's bad. They're terrible. They're, you're going to get a butch haircut. And, uh, so I got a job at super clips. Or well, <laughs> no, super cuts. I will <laughs> say this, like going out, that is the best experience that you can get because it's fast paced and you have every walk of life coming in to see you. Right. Mm -hmm. So you never know what you're going to get. You're building your clientele. You're learning how to be sociable and maintain a personable conversation with a stranger. And then after so long, you build a friendship and a connection and your clientele grows. But, uh, yeah, they don't teach you that in school. So, I mean, that's one of the biggest things I would say to anyone who's going through hair school is go work for a fucking chain salon that everyone shits on. Yeah, you may, may get side eyes and yeah, you may your family members even may not want to come see you because of the <laughs> establishment that you work for. But my men's cuts, mm, yeah, fire. Fi like, I think my record in a day... This was like back to school three years ago. I did 32 haircuts in oh, a wow. day. Jesus Christ. In damn. a seven hour shift. <laughs> and damn. so, I mean, think about it. That's why I said the last time <laughs> you guys like, were, were on. Bald. You <laughs> asked. <laughs> you, yeah, just bald. Just Next. a buzz. <laughs> just bit me. But no, you asked me like. Now what you work on base, right? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, <clears throat> I don't. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I do. I work for the government. But um. You asked what a good tip was to leave on our show. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck it. Like, if you have a $20 service and each person leaves $5 tip and you are that busy, that's why you want men in your chair. You could bust out an epic color and charge someone 150 bucks, $200 mm -hmm. if it's, like, anything to do with bleach. You could even charge hourly. But... If you want to build retention in your clientele, that's it. And so I'm going to break that stigma for anyone who's in hair school. Go work for a chain, despite you know, my, what these guys might say. My sister, <laughs> Sorry. My sister went through through the whole class, uh, uh, school and everything. And then after she graduated, she's like, I don't want to do it. Not my thing, huh? No. And my mom is like, well, I just toss my fucking money. To the <laughs> well, <laughs> and some financial aid won't cover like trade schools it's not yeah. just hair school but it's any technical school which is bullshit um but my aunt she went through aesthetic school which is skin care and feet and hands and Ugh. whatever um hey, don't hate me. yeah but um she went through the whole thing and it's something that she really wanted to do but a lot of people don't realize that a school will let you go through all of your hours i think for i can't remember we just talked about this on a recording last weekend for me, I had to complete 1,600 hours to get my license. For barbering, it's 1,000 hours. But aesthetics, I think it's like 800. And she went through all the hours, and most schools will let you because they want your money. Right. She goes through. They do a background check on you Ooh. before you get your license. Oh, damn. She's been in trouble with the <laughs> law a few times. They would not let her get her Damn. license so she spent Oof. over 18 grand and is kind of saddled with good knowledge like, like she can't go out and do so anything what do you, with what it. Do you, do other, you, can, you can still get a job right it would just maybe not well paid yeah i mean like a lot of um ultas or like beauty supply yeah. stores they want knowledgeable people um that's why you don't want to go to Sally's because any yeah. regular Joe like Justin could go work in a Sally's and sell you some product and be like, yeah, yeah it's going to be great. It's 
Probably not. Well, there you go, Justin. Probably you not. Got a fucking future. Right. I mean, but his fired. his haircut looks great. <laughs> Where'd you fucking, go? If this porn <clears throat> porn life you're living does he fucking <laughs> one of those a, one a of those porn life? one of those chains. But every time I go home, uh-huh. I fix my hair. And my wife sit down and fix my hair. Okay. All I right. need to find somebody who, and, and I, I don't care what it costs, somebody who can do my hair. And well, not it. have to. I don't have to go fix it every time. And you don't have to describe what you need every time you what sit do you mean down fix in a chair. It every time? Yeah, just she knows. Just oh, so I should. should, well, I, okay, should, so should I, I just fuck off? Or what? well, I mean, it's different for you because you have dreadlocks, and that takes a lot of care and a lot of time well, yeah, to maintain. Some. There's not. I mean, <laughs> some. But I mean, um, a lot of men like to go back to the same. Women. This motherfucker <laughs> rocks the fucking Hitler haircut. You offended and he wants him. To bust my balls. <laughs> anyway, go Can ahead. Fill me up with that first. Yeah, one. the first one. Yeah, the one you hated, which was delicious. Here. Let's see this bottle. Take that home with you. Yeah. Dark horse. <laughs> that was my that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> okay. Well, it was brown horse. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to no, ask no why. Shit, mine too. I don't ask I'm, why. I'm like, there's nothing dark about you, Angel. <laughs> Did you say Hitler? Haircut, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> like 15 minutes ago. I don't Dude, I am sweating. What I was Is it this? About, but it probably yes. didn't matter. Yeah. It was. Oh, hair. You know, when you sit down, most men like to go back to the same lady because after so many times, Are they you don't even. Blue fish from Finding Nemo. What? Do- Dorothy, Dorothy, Dory, Dory. Dory. Are you? Who, are Ellen? you comparing me Who, to Dory? Ellen? <laughs> Ellen? She's just, the Ellen of podcasting. <laughs> no, God I sex. just because because it's well documented on your podcast. You're like, I just lose it, like on the on a regular I basis. Do. So now we're just talking to you. Like, what was I saying? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll literally like have a whole train of thought go through so fast I can't even verbalize it. By the time I'm able to verbalize it all, the thought has passed. Yeah, it's called, like, what the called, fuck was I talking about? That's called writing checks your mouth can't cash. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Angel's hair because he's got two people that work on his hair. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, go, one, well, one does the dreads and the other one looks for the rest <laughs> of it. It's fucking coming. <laughs> so one does the dreads and I one just shaves the you. sides. Literally. Well, there's the, this is Barber. Yes. And this is... Do they... Do they do they yeah, yeah, maintain the, line, yeah, yeah. the beard and see that's quality right there. Yeah, a Justin lot of have that a lot of men. His wife if you have a beard, grow. my guys, fellas, if you got a beard, groom it. Right, it's important. Okay, let me tell you this: ass, titties, legs for men. It's like the same for women. Jawline for days. If you have a jawline for days, you're gonna be catching eyes. I swear to God. Really? For real? Jawline for days. Does he and have one? Bring that up a little bit. Chisel that jaw. So fat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it is getting there. <laughs> but at least I have one and not four. <laughs> That's why he grew the beard. He's hiding it under the beard. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, B. I, I, I need to point my hair. God damn it. I can't what even mean, grow a beard. <laughs> I mean, is that what we're doing? <laughs> oh. It was about time, B. Oh. like, hey, 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 hey. 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 I got a mute button for you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Watch out now. But how nice is it to Watch sit this. down in a chair and uh, not even have to describe what you want? They just do that it. That would be nice. And that then you're, nice. you're out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see this one side. Do you like it squared a little bit? It needs to be. I feel like so I want to round here's this my, here's my edge here's right my problem. here. I have a calic here. Just uh-huh. fuck what my right And here. when I say, take it up. Take this up because I have a calic, and when it gets long, it wants to do what it's want. Take this up, but then no, when they, they never take do it, too it. High, so it I have to do it when I get home and the line. So I've gone through four or five different hairstyles trying to figure out somebody to well, cut my goddamn Justin hair. Goes, give me the pink it's just style. too damn bad. <laughs> but I I'm live like thirty five miles away from I'm you because you, I'm, I'm going to tell give you this, and you don't know about this haircut. But oh, I go. I get my hair grows. I have to get a haircut every two weeks. That's average. Well, <laughs> no. Well, this he, motherfucker his is hair is, I Okay, could. so when you have long hair, and and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not comparing you to a, to a woman in any way, shape, or form. But when you have long hair, right? And my Holy hair shit, she's bolder than me. I'm just I am. I am. <laughs> um, when your hair is so long, you don't notice growth unless you're dyeing it, right? And then you start to see the oh. the yeah. demarcation, that line, or whatever. But with short hair. You notice it fast. Like, think about how often you have to shave your area. 
if you do. We talked about that every last week, episode. <laughs> Manscape. You what manscape? I, I manscape every yeah? Friday. So yeah. right now I'm I mean, fresh. I am a hippie. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not required. It. It's kidding. not required every week. <laughs> but I do shave my legs and I shave my armpits. Thank I'm you not. for joining us on the uh, other side uh, of the beehive. Hey, 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 what's your, what's your, what's your no handle? She started a Patreon. Yeah, no <laughs> She's just killing it. <laughs> killing it. Too, bro. <laughs> just, oh, fuck. She's so fun. Dude, that's fucking. I'm a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> this hey, this right here, this is why we like you, yeah, right? Because yeah. this, this is, is why you're like this is oh this is us. Dude. Don't leave me hanging, man. No, so uh, I um mm, I had a fuck buddy for a while, right? <laughs> and God, cheers to that. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Speaking of hippies, you're a hippie. I saw that yesterday or last week. <laughs> anyway, I like to keep the top bush. I think having a little landing strip is but, important. But I, no, but that's not a landing you strip. You don't want to look like a twelve-year-old. No, but we take are, exa- that's exactly what I say. I want to look like an eight-year-old. Sage brush. That's not. You know why I think little bush. some guys keep the bush though? Why? Because when they shave it, it just makes it look that much bigger. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I don't need that. I don't oh. need that. <laughs> Maybe you make your balls even bigger. Dude. Now, my balls? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different story. Well documented. Different story. Well documented. Didn't yeah. you say you did steroids way back when? Uh, I'm, mm, but that had no, that uh, had no case. No, mm. no, we're talking, uh, in fact, you want to see the... Uh, oh, I, I have you to show you. Balls. Balls. You oh, you want to see a picture? Yes. <laughs> I have to show you this. This, this, this says though. it all. No my editing. Wife, we don't do that. My goddamn wife right here. The one with the perfect nipples. The one with the perfect nipples knows my balls better than anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, her and I. She kidding. sends me this. Angel's up there every Friday night. Okay, I go, yeah, that's, how, that's how I make him happy. I'm like, are we getting a little... recording? And I go, I take it out. Does it tickle? <laughs> Does it tickle? <laughs> How's that feel? How's that feel? <laughs> oh, where's it at? Come on. There's my $15 whiskey over here. Hey, that's expensive. Oh, you. Oh, I, I bet if that. you went to uh, M- Wendover, Ooh. you ever been to Lee's liquor store? Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. That's that the only is one like, there, right? That's a warehouse I've, if I've, I've ever DJ'd seen one in Wendover. And every time I go, stock up because you can get. It's almost like two for one. I've said this so, before on Brian the podcast. On Lee's liquor store is so massive yeah. that it is like a Disneyland for alcoholics. Like you go like in, go for for alcohol. Yeah. You just walk in and What the fuck like, were you going to show us? So uh, we're getting to the it. Okay. Yeah. So when my wife says, "Next time they ask you about them, you can show this picture." Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm <gasps> Hey. <laughs> I've seen right. balls like so, that. Can you send me that picture? I posted so, on the, so it. So it it's the, it's oh, well documented on this podcast that gravity it's mm-hmm. been a little bit of an enemy Gravity. for me over time, right? Gravity's an enemy for all of us. Well, um, have I can walk by, feed, and then talk about your. Breasts, I can walk okay? by in my underwear and pet the dog <laughs> as I'm walking by. For God's sakes, <laughs> <laughs> the dog gets its ears scratched. Hey, don't lie to us. Swinging. You're doing that on purpose. You're like, oh, that feels a little good. I was gonna say, the dog, <laughs> why does the dog get so excited when you bust the peanut butter out? Every no time? need for peanut butter. Just walk past him. <laughs> But I got big old, big old balls. Well, <clears throat> big balls. Here's my question, be though. Proud is, it, of is it like big old balls, but like, does it get in the, like, is it, is it annoying or is it like, are you proud of him? He's probably, uh, I'm proud of him. Think about I'm proud that. Of him. Yeah. I'm proud of him because he's proud he's of that. Pendulum, dude. Every time. Fuck yeah. yeah. Every time. I told he, you, it looks like a grandfather clock. It's like, boom. <laughs> Whoa, it's probably like whoa. an orchestra, right? It Every is. time he's about ready to he's get to climax. The, fuck you, Brian. You're not having fun. Have some wine, puto. <laughs> I'm, fuck, enough, I'm fucking feeling it. My four-year-old yeah. said puto at school. <laughs> my, so, did I, you hear me? My four-year-old said puto at school. What? Well, don't point at me like I showed him how to say it. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not looking at you. <laughs> Wait, you have a you you have a uh, Latin last name, right? Or you was it you're married? Uh, so Sandoval is my married last name. Yeah. yeah. So you had a Latin guy, huh? Or Latino? Oh, uh, he's the whitest Mexican you'd ever meet. No, that'll be me. No, no. This boy I has nah, I is, am a, I as am fair as him and I, has freckles. I am a coconut. He's and like my a, sister-in-law. He's like a canelo, then. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's like a canelo. My sister-in-law, if you saw her, you'd be like, you're Hispanic or you have your Hispanic descent. Like, you're blonde. 
blue eyed freckles. Like, oh really? Yeah, no, they're the yeah. He wants to wrap that. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Leo guy, party. Right? Yeah, fuck that guy. Yes, yeah. Fuck that. Hey, 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 take that's, it easy, That's Dre. why I was a couple minutes late <laughs> yeah. getting here, because I had to fucking drop my son off, and he was awesome, as always. Anyway, can, you, I, can I hear yeah. this? Yeah, for sure. It's puff, silent. Puff, puff, pass. Just kidding. Puff, pass. It doesn't have THC in it, unfortunately. Well, we don't need it. We'll get fired. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, well, that's. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I run the drug testing yeah. program. It might work sometimes. <laughs> Do you really? That's great. I, I distribute uh, when they come out. So is it like. <laughs> that's what going to say. Is it random? <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Is it like a raffle of names? Uh, we will. Uh, let's. <laughs> After the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 sorry. It's like shoe buying. It's like shoe buying. <laughs> yeah, so, so so like a bingo ball. Yeah. Like, like, That's what I do at my work. Like when I need picking to out work, name. Holiday, yeah. I just put all their names on the board and I just spin the wheel and whatever name comes you, up. You have it's so much no fun. idea. I can't wait to hear about it. We'll talk about it after the podcast. <laughs> hey, oh. what, is it, what is it? So something that we ask the uh the podcast to come here what are what are your future plans for the podcast i know you you just break through with the patreon which is a big deal we we talked about doing some before episode number 41 yeah 41 um well for episode 42 and 43 well okay so now i got it you guys got upset right because you didn't remember my name well, well you know i'll never forget okay. it now don't worry it's just the whitest name ever Justin, (laughs) Justin, (laughs) but, um, I think we're going to record a couple spooky episodes for Halloween. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, just talking about, I wanted to get into some local fissures or herpes or something like that. Really scary shit. I was thinking chlamydia. (laughs) Yeah. You don't hear about that one anymore. Yeah. 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 My ex-husband's being audited by the IRS. Oh, <laughs> Yo, what a good idea! What a good idea, though, to do. You know, those are spooky stories. I mean, God bless you if you're going through it. There will be a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> but no, I think we're just. I wanted to do like local, like ghost stories and stuff, yeah. paranormal stories. Yeah. I mean, Halloween is my favorite. Why? Hey, you can do what you call me. I'm yeah, all about that. I, this guy. I, I love ghosts. it. Why not? Because he's afraid of ghosts. Okay. I, I don't fuck with ghosts. You want to hear some shit? Me. I know they're real. You've been in my house. You've recorded at my house. Yeah, but they didn't fuck with me. You want to hear some shit? <laughs> you can tell me whatever. I'm so, just saying. But just back. know I won't go back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a lie. You will. Kidding. You will. Yeah, but doing today. So, uh, <laughs> the. <laughs> My my hard talk stands now. I start going. Do, 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 do. You're watching the house doing the, doing the crowd thing. You know you have to cross with your left hand. Do you? Do you know you know what Catholics do? I remember do I remember seeing this. But I, I used to. I, well, not that. Not the one that's weird, well documented. Are you but, Catholic? No. <laughs> You know what Catholics do? They, you know, you know anyway, what they do. Anyway, well, anyway. You know, yeah, yeah. No, every time they drive. So I used to take the bus every now and then back home. And every time they drive by a church, they do the thing. Every time. I think it's just a sign of respect. What, no, what, what, just why like, not doing this? Well, like, if if you have ever been in a Catholic mass when you. <laughs> oh, well, you're Catholic, right? Jesus no, I'm not. Part of it. I. I know, so I I know a lot about Christianity more than I should. I you the, remind me to tell you a creepy story. Anyway, yeah, I, I read the Bible front to cover a few times. Uh, Why were you in jail? No, no, I wasn't. Can I? Can I? I was kind of in jail. I I went to Catholic school and I went to Christian school. I was married. <laughs> and that God help I I. <laughs> Hail Mary. I, I uh, got in trouble. Uh, not to cut you off. No, you're good. Why we're talking on it. I got in trouble when I was a teenager. And I spent some time at a facility here in Davis County. Mm-hmm. We, we, we don't need to get like into a, who, like where a, it was. Like a Sorry, delinquency Patreon. center? <laughs> yeah. Are you a delinquent? Uh, I was. I was a bad kid. Oh, you um, and me. And I did, a, I, did a, I did a stint in the pen, you could say. And I got there and I was like, 
<laughs> Check out I'm gonna, Thug Life. I'm going to take these. I, I did. I'm, I'm going to take this well, time. I'm when you're 16, gonna, gonna, you're like, I'm yeah, become, I'm hard. Yeah, yeah. I was. I'm, I'm going to be one with God. I'm going to change my life when I got here. God damn. I opened the Bible. baptized. I got through one page and stopped. Nah. <laughs> I can't say this. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's play tic tac toe. Fuck that. You know, I have, <laughs> I have the utmost respect for all religions. I'm not a religious person, but if it helps other people, that's awesome. I'm just, it's just not for me. But in my darkest times, and don't shit on me, I've been known to use some papers from said Bible to roll a couple of oh, things. You're going to hell. Oh, I damn, know, man. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. I've heard it, and I'm sure I will some more. But in the first darkest and for, times, first and okay? foremost. That's the worst thing. It's the thinnest roll. paper. It burns no, so smooth. No, that's the worst no, thing. Do, do no, you know no. what kind of chemicals <laughs> are in what do you mean? the difference Justice between so so you want to use newspaper? No, the difference <laughs> you between talk about a chemicals. zigzag and a fucking in a <laughs> God, <laughs> for God's okay. sakes. If we're gonna use a swisher, there's still a fuck ton of chemicals in that. I understand that, but for one thing, the Are you chemicals. Shitting on my holy secondly, blunt. Secondly, you're shitting God, on my holy blunt. God has something to do with holy it. You know blunt, what? Dude. You know holy what? Blunt. It was holy and it was fantastic, and there was a reason was you there weren't words there. On it or is it with the blank pages? Well, there are no blank pages there in the Bible. Blank pages. <laughs> um, no, on the first, the the what do they call those the. Uh, the cover dedication pages that, no no page? I'm, I'm talking index. there is uh the, the first index is two full. pages there's the blank pages believe me i yeah. thought about like doing this. what you did that paper is so thin it's like Fuck this yeah. thick but, but in reality it'd be like voice. this thick a still small voice said oh no no it's not good it's not good <laughs> no 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 well Back apparently you were just not as much of a shithead as i was dude check no. this out so oh, girl. so oh, we boy. no it was not it was it was i got in major trouble for that because i was 17 and emancipated minor just, 17. just my parents hated my guts, and I took my mom's Book of Mormon, and damn, so much, some, something big's coming. And I took some, I tore pages out of there, and I started rolling blunts with it. My mom isn't very much of a religious person in the state of Utah. If you're not local to Utah and you don't know what a Jack Mormon is, it. It means like you grew up in the religion, oh, yeah, but you're not necessarily practicing. You know what I mean? You don't go to church every Sunday, but you're not necessarily against the beliefs either. Were you baptized? Yeah, I was, I was, I was not baptized. I was baptized. Yeah. I'm the epitome of Jack Mormon. Was yeah. it a holy experience? I, I spent. You and that core in your I hand there? I spent the majority <laughs> of my childhood. Yeah. First and foremost, my mother was a. Uh, a young women's mm -hmm. a servant of oh, god yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah servant of god and you and, were a and child i of spent god. and i was the child of god and he wow are you the messiah <laughs> Sorry. You know what? It's funny you say that cuz does, does uh, Justin have a god complex so, at all? I love it. I love it cuz it's Justin Curtis Simmons, but if you take the initials JCS, it's Ooh, Jesus Christ the Savior. Oh, dude, god damn He's it. He's thought about this far I didn't know I was too much before. Cuz I told you I'm the epitome of a Jack Mormon, but I spent a lot of my time with the neighbor who was my best friend. His dad was the bishop. Ooh, mm -hmm. I've heard his And so they took me everywhere. Mm -hmm. I did more with that family than I went camping. We did boat trips. We did all sorts of shit. And my family sat at home. They're like, nah, wait, no wait, thanks. Wait. Were you a Boy Scout too? Fuck yeah, I was of a Boy Scout. Of course you was. We were you what, when did you move here when you were in 20 your 20s? Ago. Yeah. 18. 18? Okay. Yo, hold on. They didn't have Boy Scouts in before, Mexico. Before I forget, yes, they do. <laughs> you back the fuck up. Are you fucking serious? What are they called? Uh, Boy Scouts? Oh, oh, so it's just Boy Scouts? I wasn't like either. I'm super, just saying. Super Catholic, though. Like, there was, there was no way uh, I would ever yeah, go. Yeah. No, and... And your grandma made you? No, like, that's... I mean, that was one of the reasons like why that? I never went. That reminds me of my grandma. Mm. Oh. Hey, do, let me, Strong let me, let me Italian, this, Irish, Catholic woman. Let me, Catholic let me woman. tell you this before, before I forget. So we're trying to sell the house, right? The wife Your and house? I were selling a house. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, shout out wife. Hi. My 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 friend, the realtor, came in last Saturday, met with the wife and I. We're like, oh no, this is the house and shit, because she's the one that sold it to us, so she knows it. <clears throat> and she's like, okay, well, she asked some questions, went went over some paperwork and stuff, and she asked me for the key of the front door, right? Now my house is laid out kind of like yours, as in. I'm, I'm guessing most of the time you use your kitchen door. 
Yes, we do. Yeah. People who come to the house, yeah. there's a front door, but we use the side door yeah, yeah, just yeah. like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and not a lot of people come over to my house, and so no one uses the fucking front door. There's no parties? So I gave, I used to, not anymore. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I'm LDS. So I, ga- <laughs> so I gave her, people. so I gave her the key. <laughs> I gave her the, fr- the key of the front door. And when she said, all right, we'll see you, I walked her out through the front door, right? She's a friend of mine, so we're, like, talking to bullshit, and we used to work together. So, finally, we say goodbye, and obviously, as I'm sure I've done for many fuck eight years of owning the house, I walk through the kitchen. This was Saturday. When did I text you I went to From Scratch with my mom? Um, Tuesday, Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday, something yeah, like that, so yeah. So, Wednesday... My mom went and picked me up. That was the thing. I said, I'll go with you if you pick me up. She went and picked me up. She's backing out of my driveway. This is Wednesday. <clears throat> I look at my door. My door is fucking open. Oh, no. Front door. Full halfway in or halfway open. And I look at my mother and I said, Yo, my fucking door is open. And my mom is like, well, did you open it? I was like, I haven't used that door since Saturday. So I go inside. Obviously, I'm like opening the door here and there, <laughs> yeah. and then I and then I'm like, God damn it! I should have bought that gun that Justin was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I go in and I I come out, close the door, make sure it's locked. Then we went to the restaurant. We came back, and now I'm like, All right, see you, mom. I'm a mom. You want to go inside? He's like, Nope. Have fun. I'm like, okay. And so I go inside, dude, and the whole feeling just like gets inside of me, dude. And I was like. Dude, if I find someone here, oh, so I have to go downstairs, wait, turn wait, on wait. the fucking lights, turn on the open. Do you the have fu- a gun or no. anything to arm yourself no. with? Just my before you tiny went, dick. Before you, <laughs> before you go downstairs, did you have anything? Mm-hmm. I would have at least like grabbed a knife off the counter. I figure I'll scream. All right, well, Somebody okay. Well, that yeah. what what the fuck's that gonna do? God's not gonna save you. Hey, I'm working on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So. There was nobody there, but Not then, Justin, but then no. I, t- but then I talked to my, I talked to my, uh, <laughs> my realtor, and I said, by any chance that you or anybody from your people came over to the house yesterday? And she's like, nope. Like I still have the key. No one has seen that. I, they don't even know your address. I said, like, well, my fucking door was open, and the last time I used it was Saturday. So how long have I been going to sleep? Oh, with your door wide with my open. Door open. Oh, <laughs> wait, you mean you think it's been open the whole time? I don't know. Be, oh, be, that, and because another reason why I'm thinking is because I took photos of the house myself because she was like, Look, I just want to. So she was going to send a professional photographer, right? But she's like, those, those pictures won't be in in time for me to show the, 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 uh, the, the team. So can you take some and send them to me? So I took some, send it, send it to her. There's a picture that I took up. I mean, I saw my phone. I took it from my living room, and the door is closed. That was Sunday. Mm. My door was open Wednesday. I think maybe you just have ghosties in your house. No, right? you shut the fuck up and hey, don't say that so shit. So let me, let me ask you this. Do you not believe in spirits? No, or I believe in spirits. You I, just I, don't I was, fuck with that. I was raised Christian. I saw people yeah, being possessed. Okay. I saw people being, I mean. You seen people be possessed? Oh, yeah. All right, okay, we're going to touch on that again. But I have to tell you this, and people who listen to my podcast will know the story already, but <laughs> I bought my place back in August, a, a year ago in August, and first few weeks were there, my son's three at the time, and I'm upstairs doing laundry, and he's downstairs doing whatever, and all of a sudden he just starts crying. I'm going to shit myself. Of but this. it's like a hurt cry like he's like mommy like i need you and so i'm like okay like put this stuff down <laughs> put the blood down <laughs> oh, shit. Shut your, the Bible. hey shut your dirty mouth jesus okay shut your dirty mouth like, i'm going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom hit the wall hey jesus doesn't put that on me okay like, god damn it <laughs> The original Jack Mormon slash Messiah does not put that on me. Okay. <laughs> I don't do that. But, Come you know, I'm about halfway down the stairs and he's like, there's someone in the house. Oh, fuck. You know, and me. so I'm like, fuck, right? So I run back up the stairs. I not only grab the bat that I have in my closet, but I grab my Taurus 9 mil and I'm like, yeah. okay. Who the fuck is in the house? I run down the stairs. He's at the bottom of the he's stairs. Harley Quinn. And, you know, I don't <laughs> want to freak him out even yeah. more because I already have a bat in my hand. 
you know, my son's been around guns. Like, we've yeah. gone out camping and shooting, but, like, I don't want... She's all... Yeah, like, literally, like, I had my gun behind my <laughs> back, loaded, because I was like, what the fuck am I... What the fuck am I walking into? And so... He's four. Yeah, he, well, he's three at the time, too, so I'm just like, what the... F like, but, yeah. two, like, it's also, like, you want to believe your three-year-old, because yeah, yeah. if they're like, holy shit, someone's in right. the house, you're like, holy shit, someone is in the house. Yeah. Right. So I run down... Have my gun behind my back, have a bat in this hand. I'm like, where are they? And he's like, in the kitchen. And so I start to kind of walk really slowly in the kitchen. And I'm even like, hey, if someone's in my house, like, you need to get the fuck out. Like, I have a gun. <laughs> like, I will shoot you. Mm. And this is Ogden, too. You know, you, you want to shit in, on that, it. That's and, where he goes to But it's just like, but it's all like two. Like, you you know. No, in Bountiful, the Mormons are waiting for you in the front room to teach you the word of God yeah. in my house. Do you want to hear the good news? This is our gun. They show you the book. This is our gun. <laughs> yeah, no. But I, I creep into the kitchen and no one is there. You know, and oh. the light's on and everything. And he's like right by my side. And I'm just like, where did they go? And he was like, they're right there. They're right there. And I and he's pointing right towards my sink. Like, I have this peninsula-type counter or whatever, and then it's just my sink. And he's like, it's a lady. And I was oh, like... Oh, now I'm freaked the fuck I out. Was like, yeah, now you... <laughs> <laughs> I was like... I was like... No, like if you would have said a child, then yo, yo, now we're, we're done. done. No, no, no. we're done. He said it was a scary lady, Holy and shit. so I'm just kind of like standing there for a second. I was frozen, and you know he's still freaking out. So I turned to him because I obviously don't. And he's levitating. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And I hit him with the bat. Yeah. <laughs> hit him with my bat. Bright red bat. It's a bright red bat too. But I was just, I got down on his level and I was like, you know, I don't see what you see right now, but uh, I believe you. Like, what's going on? Because I also didn't want to freak out because on the inside, I'm yeah. like how you're reacting right now. He's like, oh, fuck no. We're leaving this house. We're selling it I right now. I don't want to meet you, kid. Ever. He's brilliant. You might want to meet him just because care. he's that insightful. No. He might tell you your whole future. No. My kid's crazy in so, the best way. So can Justin's mom. Oh, no, she can't, huh? What? Tell me the future. That's not, what that's the not fuck? Her, that's not her department, huh? <laughs> <The> fuck, no. <laughs> my, my son mom, has just always sucks. been... My mom talks to people that have passed. Yeah. Yeah, so my son's always just been really in tune with that, really perceptive on energy and that's good like if 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 he knows i'm sad he's coming up to me especially at this day and age like currently he'll be like it's gonna be okay mom and it's like i feel like shit because you're four years old and you're coming up to me yeah. and telling me right. that it's gonna be okay like, mom, take but a chill that's pill. how with <laughs> Go it up in your he bible is. have a good time yeah. <laughs> Where's your, oh, wait, where's your Bible oh, blood? Oh, here in the kitchen with the fucking old lady in too. <laughs> no, but it was scary just because I was standing there and it's like, I don't want to react in a negative way and give this thing any more energy, right? But I also don't want to make my kid feel invalid because I believe in that shit. You know, it's, it's a matter of perspective. Fuck your place. Yeah, right? <laughs> and so I even like picked him up, walked, obviously set my gun down my weapons down walked over to exactly where he was pointing and kind of knelt down and it's almost <laughs> like you can feel this eerie Just maybe it's in stop. your head maybe it's in your head almost because he's built it up but it's almost like i could feel this presence scared, above me angel. Stop it. but i didn't want angel. to like take away from it i was like we've been here a few months whoever's here with us is a good so why person. You burn your place then? That's not the only instance. I've walked into kitchen with all the cabinets open. I've walked oh, into yeah. my basement. Now we're talking. I've walked into guy shit. Yeah, no. Go. I've walked into my basement where all the lights are on, and I've been down there the night before, and I was like, no, even in my drunken stupor, I know I flipped we, these we, lights we off. Get some poltergeist investigators. Yo, let's go and, play with a Ouija uh, board in your place. Oh, Ooh, no. Not in fun. my place. I have to sleep there. No, come on. Let's go no, play with okay. a Ouija board 
here. Go at your place. There's nothing. Fuck you. You didn't play <laughs> that shit here. But you want to do it in I my house. I don't want to do it. He does. <laughs> Angel wouldn't be there. It'd just be Fuck you. No. I, it's been well documented. I want to see a ghost so bad. I, I've experienced that shit. I Go know ahead. some ghost hunter kind of cats. Yeah. That take people on ghost tours and. Yeah, like they that. charge you too. Don't Brian knows to everybody. We've just so never seen it happen. Kind of <laughs> well, they do tours of the underground tunnels on 25th Street during October. Yeah. Um, during the October, prohibition. Yeah, oh, a, lot of, of prohibition. a lot of people think of Utah and they're like, where the fuck is that? Or, oh, it's the Mormon state. But let me tell you, during the prohibition, we were a feisty state all right um just like every other st i mean i guess i could say that just like every other state we had a society that still uh what the fuck is the word distilled alcohol and sold it illegally um and it got to a point on 25th street where they had casinos underground they had clubs underground they had brothels underground bars underground and they made all these linking tunnels to it. And I worked um, at bar uh, Moore's Barbershop for a while. And it's crazy because if you go to their back room, they have like a, a barbering chair over it now. But if you lift this hatch, it goes straight underground. Yep. And it's crazy because they had this silent alarm system um, because it was so illegal. Drinking back then was terrible. Which it is for you. I mean, we should all just smoke a little. I'm just saying. Much better for you. I'm putting that out How there. How do we go from anal sex to ghosts? You want to hear... We've it? gone from you a lot of things. But they had this silent alarm. So if someone or the police would go down in one portion, like say they went down in the casino, they'd push this button and it would alarm other people that they had to move. So they would literally the go to the tunnels and go to the yeah. other side of the street. So then the police would go to that side and no one would be there. And then they'd come up on on top yeah. level it, ground. It's crazy to even have those you, now. You want to yeah. hear, you wanna yeah. hear uh, uh, a staggering number. Look it up. This is why we have B right here. This is brilliant. This look is up, what I need. Look up how many people. Thousand bucks on episode. You can have them. How many people. <clears throat> The government what? killed, or excuse me, how many people the government poisoned during Prohibition? Oh, God. Oh, we want to get so. into government G conspiracies, because I could jump down <laughs> that rabbit hole. Holy shit. Poisoned. P-O-I. You're fine, dude. You're good. During Prohibition. That's a long fucking... Age. It's all right. Just keep going. You'll you'll get it. <laughs> but I mean, if you if you think about alcohol and what it does to your yeah. body, I mean, every so the estimated saw about ten thousand people that the government poisoned during prohibition, and the, what they were doing is when they would find the liquor that was out there, the government would poison it and send it out to people that were bootlegging it. And people would die. That's oh, how the man. government was shutting prohibition down. The government is at fault for a lot of things. I just, you just uh, we, you heard we about, won't get into politics you know, and all we, that. We, kind we of won't. We but, won't. We won't. But you, you, you want to talk, talk about conspiracy exactly, theories really quick? Exactly. You ever heard of MK Ultra? I have. That shit's not a conspiracy. You know, you know what? That you know was, shit came out with actual paperwork, and they were very vague about that. You know right? who was part of MK Ultra? Who was part of a tester of MK Ultra was the Unabomber. Oh. Do, do we know how many people are incarcerated currently for small amounts of marijuana? I don't off the top of my I head. Mean, that's all. Either, but that's that all is, saying about that. That's a you good have point. The computer right there. That's a good point. Google's not that good. is why it, marijuana cannabis is being decriminalized but in almost it, every state now. Than anything, it's not. We don't need the number. It's but really being the, pushed. The fact that people, there are so many people incarcerated in prison and in jail for small amounts of or marijuana. petty drug crimes. Yeah, I knew someone. Le legal things that would be legal now that weren't legal then. Right. Oh well, yeah. So I knew. I know someone. Who lived in Oregon at the time, and everything in Oregon is fucking legal, including heroin and meth. Cocaine. And cocaine. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and their thought process behind that is to kind of, well, not only to decriminalize it, but to offer recovery to mm-hmm. people. Like we don't want you overdosing, overdosing, overdosing on fentanyl or just this poison, right? So we will give you a pharmacy dose so you get your fix, but we're also going to offer counseling and all these, you know, addiction advocate programs. I don't know how that works, how well that works, but um, I have a friend who lived in the state who had a cannabis farm, was doing super well for himself, Um, but his partner was embezzling and put the farm into bankruptcy pretty much. So he had to pull out. Um, pull and out. when he did pull out with flaccid oh, dicks I'm trying, change, I'm trying to change the <laughs> all the flaccidness real quick, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> this took a dark <laughs> turn. Yeah, no shit, uh. Super dark. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm the trippy hippie of dark talks. <laughs> yeah. But, you're you're kind of drunk, aren't you? No, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> 1883. Angel was born in 83. I was born in 95. Damn. That's 1883. Yeah, but you were born in what your hair looks like. You were born in 18. <laughs> That's fine. Are you going to take that? Yeah. You know what? Angel tells me, we should break each other's balls. I think he likes to take it. And, I think know, he yeah. likes to take it. We do. He's more yeah. sensitive than no. I am, though. Yeah. Plastic I dick and all. Every, I don't give a fuck what you say. I'll take it. But there's some things I can say and be like, dude. Dude. And then it's not, it won't be funny. Huh? You said I'll take it. Pause. I'll take it. Yo, hard. We haven't hit pause in a while, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. We haven't hit pause in a long time. Well, that's because that guy what d- was does I five saying, minute though? episodes of his podcast now. What? You were my talking friend, about my friend. Your friend. Yeah. So he, in a legal state where everything is legal, his uh, partner who is embezzling, who he flipped on him, mm. narked on him, and so when cops showed up. He had over 15 pounds of marijuana on him and his personal firearm. So they slapped ah, him with a felony. The there's the difference right there. Yeah, but it was his apartment, right? Still, you can't have a firearm. And with that much. With that much weed. Right. Yeah. You have to separate the two. And no luck. But it's, it's just crazy. I don't remember where I was going with that story, but... <laughs> We segued, we she segued like three times by now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, even in a state where it's legal, it's still illegal. It's illegal. Yeah. And so, you know, did we ask you the question? What is the question? The question on the other side of the beehive. Now we ask this to every guest. Uh oh. On the other side of the beehive, and right. may, did we do it on hard no. talks? We didn't. Okay, so we've been very vocal about. Getting in touch with the your feminine gay side, side, the oh, gay side. Oh, all right, I love of that. The other side of the beehive. Yeah, it's right. all about finding the gay because side. Because me and Angel, I mean, let's be real. If we were on a stranded island, <laughs> we'd be sixty nine and all well, yeah. the time. And if you all if you time. look back at history, like Here the Greeks, <laughs> the Romans, Listen, I've been I mean, hearing about those balls forever. Yeah. I gay sexuality see. was natural. It was incorporated in their art it was yeah. incorporated in everyday lifestyle it was it was not something to be seen as immoral or dirty that was we'll the christian reli- well i mean <laughs> sex sex so, guys the, the hard question is <laughs> ah the hard that, tra- that, ah, that, I see what hard, you did there yeah see yeah, no. uh who is your woman crush i have a lot so top one the top one the, the first one dog, that comes to my hat. mind is every basic white bitches. It's Ruby Rose. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. It is yeah, a but good she's one. A stick though. No. Yeah, okay. So I, she I've never hot, been with a woman Looks exclusively like from Boston. Um, but I am pro a hundred percent in the growth of the LGBTQ I like plus community. I think sexuality Next. is hey, fluid. To the right, to the right, to the right. Go, go right. over, go over, go over one right there. <laughs> I got the no, I like, I like that. I, I like all these. She's fucking beautiful. And I also like her tattoos. I, 
You probably have the same tattoos too. <laughs> probably. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> do I, I do have a. a you swat talk in the about me. You oh. talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's fierce. Go, go one, one more over. She's right there, fierce, yeah, right and there. Yeah, that's see? from uh, uh, one more. the that's one what, prison in show she's in. That's, that's how I think. Look at her tattoos. She's fine as fuck. No, but I think sexuality is fluid. Did you ever right? see her in Orange is the New Black? Yeah. Yes. Yes, girl. girl. <laughs> yes, yeah, girl. Right. <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. No, but um, again, like I think sexuality is fluid and especially in the westernized society i feel like it's not as easy to talk about that right mm. in europe being gay or queer it's it's prideful you know yeah. what i mean people are proud to be gay and i mean like people look at california like oh my god you guys want to set out and be your own republic fuck you but it's like california stands for a lot of good things it stands for individuality diversity it's like, yeah, it's like overpopulated and Yeah, but don't you think that it now it's more accepted than it's ever been? Yes, I do. In some places. Well, there's always gonna be backwoods. Right. But I mean like where where they're with that they don't have what the internet. Right. And they don't get the social media vibes or whatever. Right. I mean, there's so many places in the world where 20 it's, years back, right. Where it is that way. Um, I've had a couple people on hard talks from the peace corps who have served, uh, over in Zambia or, um, the Gambia. And, you know, these people haven't even seen their reflection before. You know what I mean? Like my cousin, he served for two and a half years and, he brought over a handheld mirror that broke in his, his luggage and he ended up just like giving it to a woman because she had never seen her own reflection. Right. And after his episode, we learned like they make a big show of things, right? Like they put on all their makeup and get really dressed up in their tribal uh, attire for funerals or weddings. But a lot of these people still have never even seen their own reflection. So it's hard for us to, to imagine that perspective, right? Dirt roads everywhere, feeding for rice and, and farming. Like, like what? Like, what are you farming over there? I mean, really, right. like getting worms in your toes from walking in pigs feces all the time <laughs> like seriously like weevil worms have to study that yeah man. no uh that's one of the things my cousin talked about is like he, he came back and it was during the time of ebola so he uh had to stay somewhere for a couple of weeks on the east coast before he could come back to utah but he finally got here and he had this just infection in his toe and he knew what it was but we, like, obviously we didn't. So we're at this like big family gathering to welcome him back. And he just slaps his foot up on the table, starts squeezing his toe. And this tiny little weeble worm pokes out and he pulls it out. And he's like, this motherfucker has been okay. with me for over yeah. this thousand I'm, I'm miles. About to puke. I'm about to throw up. Yeah. There's no. Somebody else we know that had worms. But yeah. I mean, like, imagine that everyday Fucking life. Brian, you and your jabs. You know, like you're living in a dirt floor hut. Justin does not do feet, does not do feet. He don't do feet. Oh. Yeah, I know you don't do germs either. No. Yeah. So you, he's about to throw up right now. But Sorry. Back to <laughs> me, back on the other hand, I'm getting what we, hard. What we first started talking about. <laughs> Thank even, you. I'm glad even, someone's... <laughs> even now, in the hip-hop community, <laughs> being homosexual is, is just barely... Right. Well, okay. and... Yeah, Brian, why are you going to be so fucking close minded But that's, that's, that's very right? taboo yeah, and controversial getting, for even in the black <laughs> community, <laughs> right? The black water. community <laughs> doesn't look at gay people the same way that you or I do. And I can say that because <laughs> my one of my very best friends, um, his name is Deshaun. He's been on an episode of Deshaun ours. Deshaun Watson? Deshaun, no. <laughs> um, he was on an episode of ours, but um, he was just Shut talking up, about Sean. his coming out experience and how difficult it is within the black community. Um, we haven't had a gay person here, dude. I've told you, I've told you time and time again what, how how great that would be. So, speaking of, 
Remember that comedian I told you about? Yes, uh, we talked about he's that. He's coming back to town. Oh. The only problem is, and, and I already messaged him, and I said, dude, would you do the podcast? We talked before, and he goes, yes. He says, the only problem is he's coming around, he's coming in November around Thanksgiving, so he's like, it all depends what I go, I got going on with family and shit, because obviously he's doing wise guys, but, right. he, but he says, but it, I will do it, but it all depends on, I, he says, I want to do it, but it all depends on time. Nice. You know, you guys give me shit for having ADHD and for me not being able to keep on track, but I've literally been like going back oh, in conversation, trying to tie it together. And I'm like, you. we went from anal to ghost to, to, to sexuality to who I dig. Hey, Ruby Rose, if you're ever in my neck of the woods. Sand. <laughs> Holla at you. Holla at me, girl. Holla at you, girl. No. Why am I drinking more wine, motherfucker? I, Why not? <laughs> I like... But but that's what started this whole spiel, right. right? Sexuality is fluid, right? We live in a day and age in a country where it's okay to be fluid with your sexuality. It's okay to be transgender for the most part. I mean, you have your yeah, but it's for still, the it's most still, part. It's I say still that boldly. New. It's yeah. very new, and it's it's like you're walking on eggshells all the time, right? We're living in this day and age where everyone is so overly offended. It's like, how can I educate myself? How can I have a real conversation with someone in the LGBTQ kill plus community and learn without being offensive? Yeah, right. you know what I mean. It's like it's come to a point now where it's like, I'm all for it, but it's like, I need the steps and the guidance on how to ask questions because I don't want to be that offensive person. And I, I do want to know I'm attracted to women. I think all women are attracted to women. Do you worry about human nature? Do you worry about when you're putting out content and you start to go down these roads Yeah. on what you should say yes and what you shouldn't say that's why we don't do these live that's why i can't i i literally my mind goes so fast i want to be articulated i want to be professional i want you know i want it to be candid and real and authentic but i also want it to touch on real valid points you know what i mean i don't want to go out there and just blast my opinion because it's just mine you right. know what i mean and i'm not educated um i don't know shit about shit like i only know what i know <laughs> you just said i don't know shit about shit i don't know shit about shit <laughs> that's well, a true right statement podcast, though yeah, like, yeah, no, right? <laughs> but if you think about it we only know what we know yeah. and we only know what we've experienced and right. what we've come in touch with so there's so much beyond my life uh, and that I'll tie that into religion, right? I value religion for so many other people because a lot of other people need it in everyday life. It gets them through, right? But to me, there's so much knowledge out there. If you boil all the bullshit off of every religion, every single religion in this world or belief system, there's something good that you could take away Just from about it. being a good person. Exactly. There's yeah. some moral... That, or something you could take away from it and put it towards your everyday life. I, I think there's so much out there that it'd be ignorant to be like, this is my only belief system and this is my true God. I'm closing myself off to everything off in the world. I'm closing myself off to every other human experience or every learning lesson. And so that's what I really tried to set out to do with hard talks, not only to make a safe space for everyone to be vulnerable and to come to and be like hey like this is who i am and that's cool but also to learn from each other yeah and because again i only know i don't know shit about shit i only know what i know right i always want to grow i always want to learn i always want to expand if i'm wrong tell me right i'm not going to get offended I'm going to take it in. I'm going to process it. And I'm probably going to go fact check you if we're drunk and tangenting. <laughs> but <laughs> it's because I'm curious and I don't want to be wrong. That's probably my underlying condition there. I don't want to <laughs> be wrong. But yeah, I mean, we're all just human, right? We're all experiencing the same thing. This one time 
mega epic human life experience. Mega. Did you say what? I said modern. It wasn't pertaining to you. <laughs> 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 this is like the home of bro science. So like, like there's no fact check here. It's just what we know and it's worth what you pay for. It. Do we pay for it? I'm half drunk already. But I mean, I feel like the best experience in life, you shouldn't have to pay for it, obviously. It's... We build these expectations up in our mind, right? Where we almost pull, put everything on a pedestal. So when we finally arrive to that moment, nothing is ever going to meet our expectation or that standard or that imagery that we've met built up in our mind. And so it's just like, lead your life without any expectations and just flow with it. Gain what you can out of each experience. And God damn, Joe Rogan. <laughs> it's getting deep. <laughs> it's like a it's like a collective science, if you will, right. right? If you're a scientific person, every human experience is a different scientific experiment almost, right? It's like, okay, if I can observe this person and really take them in and be like, okay. If I was in their situation, would I react the exact same way? Probably not because I didn't have the same upbringing. I don't have the same belief system. I don't have the same core values. So, I mean, every person that you meet, every interaction that you have, even if it's the the deli girl at your grocery store and you're just buying meat from her, Angel. Us? <clears throat> All the angel, <laughs> all the meat. <laughs> you know, what the fuck. What I just, do? Just, it's I'm just like I'm already getting drunk. And I just get called <laughs> out. Yeah. Every experience that, we have, that was a knife jab song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every interaction we have, though, big or small, it makes an impact <laughs> on us. All right. Not a mushroom stamp. I didn't say that. An impact, <laughs> big or small. <laughs> now we're cooking with butter. <laughs> no, butter with lard. Okay. Uh, gasoline, excuse me. <laughs> How do you cook your grits? Uh, have you ever had grits? I have. Have you ever had grits? Yeah. No, curds, cheese curds. I have no, that's, uh, a, no, that's, a, that's grits. completely grits different. Grits are like homie, right? Yeah. How many, how many, how many? Yeah, okay, so uh, one many, of my favorite many, movies many. ever. Isn't that a song you got to be? How many, how many? Bum, bum, bum. Hey, how long have we been going for? Uh, an hour 20. Oh. Before we go, tell the people where they can find you. We don't have to leave. We're just cutting the... Can I tell you one last go ghost story? Yes. Just to haunt yes. your, your little evening. Welcome I'm sorry life. I've been tangenting, and I'm sorry I can't keep all of my you brain know I'm space not coming back in sequence. To your house, right? yeah, you, you better, definitely you better are. get a fucking studio from now on, because I'm not going back to your house. I can afford you something about a like studio? this. No, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Who made your sign? I did. I built this. Just no, we didn't. No, Junior, build Junior Hammond from 27th Hour Podcast. Built, uh, Shut your mouth. I, I built that mirror. I've seen <laughs> enough of his work. I'm like, no, nay, nay. Yeah, <laughs> I stole the sign. Oh, my bad. My bad. It opened up my eyes. I, saw the sign. I just think of Pitch Perfect where she pukes on everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she, she knows her shit. Uh, who? Pitch Perfect? You seen that movie? I'm the oh, yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened, Fat Amy? I got hit by a a roadside <laughs> burrito. <laughs> yeah, she's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, she has. She doesn't What's look any. What's her name? This Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Rebel, Rebel, Wilson. Rebel Wilson. Yeah. Rebel Wilson. What are you before doing? And after. I'm horizontal running. You know who else? Adele. <laughs> Oh, girl. No, I heard Adele's Adele, like lost quite dude, a bit. I keep wanting well. to say, oh, girl, because I, it's just like my tendency with dude, Sarah. Adele, for me, <laughs> was like. Cute. Adele is phenomenal. Adele, for me, was cute when she was big. The first one. Just hit the first one. Uh, no, she looks like she's opioided out there. <laughs> Yo, look at them titties. 
the fucking like you can lose a lot of weight titties for days. I'm titties. They stick around. I'm titties way. They hang out. A wonder bra. Okay. Because Adele, I promise, Adele, I promise Adele, when you lose that much weight, those titties, especially the size of the ones that she has now, are either fake or they're hanging down well, past her navel. So she's probably got them tightened up. When you have that much money, I'm sure she has. But look at Adele, dude, right here. Look at Adele. Uh, that, that, right next, next to I that saw the that. sun and I opened up. <laughs> That's fucking doing me stuck in my head. Holy shit. And I thought she was hot. Really? And I thought she was hot when she was big. Look at those legs. She's got Let me legs. ask you guys this. Are you ass, titties, or legs, men? Feet. Really? Yeah. Documented. You obviously don't listen to the podcast. Yeah. Enough. I do. Uh, last, I mean, last I heard your inside said, I joke you about said, last, how you, you know, have. We went to your house and you said we went to your haunted house and you said <laughs> and you said, "Hey, I was listening to your podcast and you guys were talking about man titties." Him and I. It was the same episode. Him and I were like, "You, you can hear us go." We go. And oh, at the shit, end, you're like, comes. "If you would have finished the first, yeah. or finished that and episode, you would have gotten in on that didn't. inside joke." And you know what? I have a sassy tattoo on my ass for you to kiss. <laughs> well, you guys got to get out and of here. And on that <laughs> one. <laughs> no, uh, what are you? I'm, uh, I'm a Gemini. Thank you very much. No, tits, I'm ass. I'm a Taurus. Um, what, are you, what, what were the choices? Tits, ass, tits, or Tits, ass, or legs. You know what it is I, for me? I do like some legs. You know what it is for me? Probably because they're connected to the feet. The, uh, I guess you could say legs because the... She's got legs. The thigh. It's the thighs, the thigh right? Gap. The figs. The thigh gaps. The figs. So skinny yes. girls always want to work towards thicker thighs, but thicker girls only always want to work towards skinnier legs. And it's like the grass is always greener on are the you, other are side. Are you a shaft, balls, or ass kind of girl? <laughs> That's not the I'm same. Just to the equivalent. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, it's not. Have, we, I mean, we don't it's have not kids. the equivalent. Do, okay, right? okay. So let me. From a female perspective, it's probably she's dick all ass, size. gas, or grass. <laughs> There's no right Moby <laughs> rights for free. Ass, gas, or what's the gas? Ass, gas, or grass. Yeah. Nobody well, rides for free. Oh, yeah. real yeah. gas. <laughs> you gotta put gas in the car. I've never heard that before. Uh, yeah, I've never heard that before. Oh, really? What are you? What are you Circa six? 90, 95, motherfucker. Yo, where did you graduate from? High school. Uh, oh. <laughs> Syracuse, oh, Syracuse High. Syracuse High, that's right. Obviously, you weren't talking about college. <laughs> yeah. Syracuse Didn't go right there. Here. <laughs> I went to... You didn't uh, answer the goddamn question. I got some scholarships up to a, a few, uh, the U of U and Weber State for oh. writing. Um, and I was a part of their radio station up at Weber State for a while. And I wrote I'm a part for, of the radio station too, but... I wrote for the Signpost newspaper for oh. Weber State for a while too. And then I dropped out of college because i smoke fucking bible fucking pages you know, to, to, to sell <laughs> and that my friend to sell Psalms. bible fucking it's a pages it's a callback hey. where can hey. they find you in the I, podcast i was just spreading the good news no okay? where, uh, well, you need an answer shaft <laughs> balls or ass probably shaft I mean, the shaft matters. I've had far... Oh. Sorry, I clasped. Oh, I've had... Cheers to you if you're listening. I've had far too many uh, cranks where they're too skinny and they turn to the left. Sorry. Uh. You need a little girth in there. I'm just saying. But before you cut me off, before you cut me off, this last story, all right? I bought this balloon for my son. This what? This balloon, a balloon, okay. a Valentine's a balloon, fucking balloon, balloon, dude. Red balloon? A Valentine's balloon. Red balloon. It was a, yeah, it was red, it was but it was a, it was a heart. No, no, oh. but me and my band from high school used to sing that all the time. Ninety nine. I was definitely your balloons. hippie who never wore shoes anywhere. Oh god. And I was in your indie rock band. You could probably still find us on YouTube. Everything else was taken, because everything else was. <laughs> that was our band name. <laughs> Straight the fuck well, up. We would say, we would have Brian look it up, but that's way too long for At him to 16, type in the that was a great idea. Tell me your fucking story. Okay, my fucking story is gonna scare the shit out of you. Are you ready to don't. pee? Okay. I bought this balloon for my son. A few months passed because some helium balloons that you buy just last forever. Yeah. They really do. And so I come home in an inebriated state 
and I walk in and this balloon after three months of having it is just like in the doorway. I literally like walk into the string, the ribbon. I'm like, huh, don't remember that being there. Maybe, cause I have a swamp cooler. Maybe my swamp cooler pushed it towards my door, whatever. A few nights pass. I come home alone again. And this has only happened when I've been alone. Elliot hasn't been there. And I'm like, maybe it's cause he's gonna call these bitches out. I don't know. <laughs> but I get home, it's dark in my living room. I walk all the way up my stairs, get to the top of my stairs by my bedroom and I walk into another ribbon. And it's kind of like walking through like a, a sleepy state, right? You look up and you're like, oh my God, there's the balloon again. How did it get up here? Well, let's put it back downstairs. No worries, that didn't happen. A couple weeks go by, the balloon is still alive. I come home, I go up to my room, it's literally above my bed. And I'm like, no, we're done with this fucking balloon. I don't like it anymore. I pop it, I throw it away, I put it in the dumpster. Three days later, this crumpled up balloon ends up in my flower bed. Oh, okay, well... <coughs> You need to move. You want to talk about <laughs> shit, my guy? That's some shit. You, you literally your throw house. it away and it comes back. You fuck your house. So yeah, that's fuck why we. Fuck your kid. We. I'm definitely down for a Ouija board, but we can't do it <laughs> there because it might be a gateway to hell. I'm sorry. I just had to share that one last thing because it is spooky season. Well, you shouldn't have. That's fucked up. You're welcome. You're gonna dream about it. Well, I don't. The have demon Devin is gonna <laughs> come why find you. Why the fuck would you pop it to begin with? Because. I didn't really well, think. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I, I, I guess it I doesn't matter because the motherfucker was going to come back. Well, no. Yeah, but, 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 but but He's two, like, I'm not down here, bitch. But two, when you're like just going through it and you just come home, like you don't really think about it. Like, where's the last time I left this balloon? I haven't even, I haven't thought about this balloon since I bought it from the fucking store and gave it to my son. He's probably been everywhere with it. It should not be above my bed. It should not be at the top of my stairs. It should not be in my doorway. So, Did you, cheers. You, you think I'm kidding? I am not going to your house. You'll be back. No, I won't. He'll be back. Anyway. You can find us yeah. on Instagram and Facebook at Hard Talks with b &H. You can also find us at Twitter at Hard Talks with B1. And if you want to shoot us an email, just tell me how ridiculous I am. You can do that at hardtalkswithbnh at gmail.com. Well, you just came on. <laughs> Queen is all, I got this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just came on the other side of the beehive, so dick pics. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> we'll forward them to you. B, hey, where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, DJ Bad Boy Brian, uh, Instagram, uh, well, all the social medias. Hey, by the way, he's, he's not Brian Hellbuck, by the way. Yeah. No. He doesn't have a phone. I literally walked in and I was like, dude, you are doing great things. And he's like, I have a podcast. And I was like, I got and, your 622. Like, thank you. Thank you. I know. I, know. I, was like, I do amazing things. No, but too. if that Brian listens, like, that I want to listen every listens. morning. Sorry. Sorry. I want to listen that's to that's you. That's probably our biggest fan. I want to listen. I, I want to meet you, my guy. And I just want to shake your hand because you are doing such good things. I work with so many veterans. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, even like if I want to break it down because I don't like just for females. <laughs> I mean, females in the armed forces, you know, like yeah. I've had a lot of vets on the show this next week's episode is actually a retired Marine and army vet. So good episode. Um, a lot of fucking weird stories, but dude, you're doing great things and I follow you and I, and I work with a, a person you had on your show, Shane Salmon, literally that episode made me cry. So shout outs to you. That's all I have to say. You can find me on Angel Severa on Facebook, <laughs> Angel Severa on Instagram, and I do this thing with Dre when I try to teach him Spanish. You can find that on his link, on his bio, and I do this vlog with Becca Hayes. Second vlog is up and running. You can find that at Becca Hayes link in, it, in her bio. You'd think that Dre would learn 
some Spanish by now. Mm. You know what? That's what I'll be. That's what I'll be saying for a hundred and some episodes, <laughs> and it just keeps not knowing now. Shout out to Dre too, even though they got these guys don't want to say their no name on the podcast. Justin, no they find yeah, they don't want to say. Sorry, Dre. I love you. <laughs> J underscore Sim sixty eight on the gram, <laughs> Facebook. You know the name. I've said it plenty of times. The other side of the beehive. Go to the Utah YouTube, whatever it is, YouTube channel. <laughs> subscribe. Hit the alert button. You've got to watch the channel. Also, uh, episodes of Touch Gloves with Dre coming up. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our, we're, we're mentioning his name now. That's my guy. Oh, That's my it's guy. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, until next time. Wait, really quick. I don't remember. Bye. Until next time, don't forget that Dre can't tell you who to date. And we will see you on the other side of the beehive. Uh, that's a piece, my friends. <laughs> peace.